Hi guys, and welcome back for another chit chat with Sierra. It has been quite the hot second since I have done a chit chat video. Not exactly sure what this entire video is going to be about, so we're just going to start rambling, seeing what we could do, and let's just let's start chit chatting. So let's go back to my lawn order craziness. Probably wondering why I was dancing to that. It's because Law & Order is literally on in my apartment 24-7. If it's not friends or if it's not cops, then it's Law & Order. I decided I want, as like one of my life career goals, to be on Law & Order. Like to be like the dead girl and they try to figure out how I died or something. That's honestly life goals. Today when I went to go get my nails done, it's getting really hot here. I was so excited because I used to love getting my nails done. It was my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to do. Just going like once every two weeks, sitting there, having them like touch my hands for like an hour and a half, and then that was that. It was like the best therapy for me. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to afford it anymore, so I just had to stop getting my nails done. I got my nails taken off, and they looked like disgusting trash for almost a year. So that's why I treated myself to some nails. Anyway, I was at the nail salon and uh, it was like very, very, very quiet. I guess like everyone was working, so I just was kind of like the only one there. And they brought me all the way to the back. I guess that's where they do like fake nails and whatnot. So I was kind of like, okay, but it was a nice salon. Like, I mean, it wasn't sketchy or anything. I go all the way to the back and it's like dead quiet. The girl was like, oh, do you want a magazine or something? And I was like, no, like I can't read and have them do my nails at the same time. So I was like, oh, do you have Wi-Fi? And the girl's like, yeah, that's fine. So she gave me the Wi-Fi password. So I'm like, oh, what am I gonna do now? I'm like, I guess I'll watch like something on Netflix. Of course, what did I watch? Law and Order. Looking for my headphones, I'm like, oh, I don't have my headphones. I'm like, this is so awkward. So I have to watch it. <laughs> so I have to watch Law and Order out loud. So I'm like, okay, I'll put it like on the third notch, like one, two, three, like on an iPhone. And that's really not that loud. So I'm like, okay, I'll be by myself. I'm sure the girl that's doing my nails, like she won't mind. She won't be able to hear it. It's literally in my face. So, of course, like, I'm sitting there getting my nails done, and Law & Order, like, starts. I just put it on. And another girl comes, sits down next to me, so now it's just the two of us and the two girls that are doing nails in this small little <laughs> section. So then I'm getting my nails done, and then all of a sudden the intro comes on, and when I tell you, it literally went up, like, six notches. So it wasn't just, like... Dun, 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 dun. It was like I was so mortified. It's so embarrassing. Like I was like trying to keep it on the DL that I was watching Law and Order while getting my nails done. And literally was like da 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 oh. I don't know how it got that loud. I don't know why it was that loud when it was that low on my phone, but it was just so like, oh, whatever. I have no shame in my game that I watch Law & Order. So, what else can we talk about? Um, oh, I have a sandwich story. I was like sitting in my apartment and I just really did not feel like cooking dinner. And I was like, ooh, like I'm fiending for something right now. Like, what do I want? Like, I want something specific. So I couldn't think of anything. I didn't want to spend a lot of money because I never, ever, ever go out. So I was like, okay, what am I gonna do? So I'm like, you know what? I kind of want a sandwich. Like, I, I don't eat cold food. I know that sounds weird, but I really don't eat cold food. Like, it always has to be hot food. So I was like, Hmm, you know, I kind of want like a cold sandwich right now and that's like a, a very odd craving for me So I was like, hmm, where can I go get a cold sandwich? There's a sandwich shop that's down the street from me and I was like, ooh Those sandwiches are like, all right, so I'll go there So I got up got dressed went down the street to the sandwich shop and it was closed not just like clothes like we're not here today like clothes we are out of business of course this would happen to me like of course i would want something so bad happen in my head like be dreaming about it and then i go to get it and then it's not there of course like whatever where else could i get a sandwich 
So I'm like, oh, there's this deli across the street from my apartment. I don't really like that deli, but James really likes these gross paninis there. I don't know. There's just something about these pre-made paninis that he like likes. And it's like chicken teriyaki. Like who eats a chicken teriyaki panini? He does. I get to the deli and I walk in and like they're all just like kind of staring at me. And I was like, okay, like this is already awkward. And they're like talking Spanish to each other, like looking at me, like pointing at me. I'm like, okay, like this is annoying. I'm looking at like the meats and whatnot and they're all like pre-cut. So you know, especially if you're from Jersey, my Jersey people out there, and if you're from New York too, if you go into a deli, you better see that big boar's head or big like turkey whatever sitting there and you know that you're in a right deli. Okay, whatever, that's kind of gross. There's pre-cut meat, but I'm like, I want a sandwich so bad. I'm like, okay, uh, can I just have like a plain roll? He picks up the roll, I swear to God, the roll, this big. I'm not even over exaggerating. It was this big and I was like so I kind of was like oh at that point I just wanted the sandwich so damn bad that I was like I don't really care how big it is I just kind of like want the sandwich you know they go to go like pick out chips so I'm like you know what? I'm gonna go crazy today i'm gonna get chips i'm gonna get a soda i'm gonna rock it out and i'm gonna go home i'm gonna turn on some law and order and i'm gonna enjoy this so i get to the <laughs> i get to the cash register and i'm like oh hey like i got the sandwich whatever and i saw that he put it in this little container that was like half salad and when i mean like half salad i mean like three pieces of lettuce so i was like oh okay so i'm like that's nice oh a salad so the guy goes to me uh 9 975 and I was like, oh, excuse me, what? Like, how much? He goes, $9.75. I was like, I'm sorry, but what? And he goes, $9.75. I said, $9.75? And he was like, yeah. And I, I looked at the guy, and I was like, that is the most, I was so serious. I was like, that is the most absurd thing that I've ever heard. And he goes, yeah, $9.75. And, like waiting for me to pay and I looked at the girl that was standing next to him who clearly like was just there because she needed a job and she was like and I looked at him I said 975 for that sandwich are you kidding me if I wanted to pay 975 I would have gone down the street and got Chipotle but you know what I wasn't in the mood for Chipotle that's why I didn't go to Chipotle that's why I came here and that's why I was looking for a sandwich so I looked at the guy and I was like I'm from New Jersey, I grew up there, and I've never heard of a sandwich being $9.75. And he looks at me and he goes, well, you're in New York now, so you should get used to it. And I looked at him and I said, I've lived in New York for five years now, and I have my New York ID like literally ripping out my wallet, and I'm like, and I've never heard of anything like this. So now the guy's like trying to fight with me, trying to fight with me for the fact that his sandwich with the pre-cut pre turkey and the pre-cut ham, and with the roll that this bit was worth $9.75 unless you're putting gold slices on your sandwich there is zero zip of a reason for your sandwich to be almost $10 so I literally looked at the guy and said can I leave this here and he was like uh yeah and I was like okay bye see you never like literally walked out I was fuming because not only was I not gonna pay ten freaking dollars for a sandwich now I don't even have the sandwich I almost was gonna suck it up and be like you know what maybe I'll just buy the sandwich maybe I'll just get over it no no never in my Jersey girl blood will I ever pay ten freaking dollars for a sandwich no thanks not today never not a no nope. so I walked outside and just as any Jersey girl would do I called James and James keep in mind is on tour at this point so I'm just like are you kidding me I turned around and I noticed because you know it's raining so I'm underneath an awning I noticed that I was standing right underneath a pizza awning for a pizza place so I looked in there I was like you know what forget it I'll call you back later I'm going to get pizza so for five dollars I got two slices of pizza and a soda Okay, so that is what I did to fix that situation. So that's my little sandwich story, and I don't want to hear the whole, oh, New York's expensive. Like, you should be used to be things being so expensive in New York. But it's like, no, I'm sorry. You do not charge someone $10 for a sandwich that was pre-cut, okay, pre-cut, and the roll was smaller than my hand. No, 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 no. That doesn't fly in anyone's book, no, no. No. This precious angel from the heavens and above. Oh yes. 
Oh, I love you. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I love you. Cleo can totally be a model. You should be a model cat. Let me get you into modeling. So all in all, guys, that pretty much sums this little chit chat with me to you up. Um, I've been saying this, I say it in every video, but I'm really, honestly, truly gonna try posting more. Some new and exciting things are coming this year. Oh, I wonder what they are. Yo, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, make sure that you subscribe and like because <laughs> love chit chatting with you guys. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna go make dinner now. Okay, peace, everyone.